Hello everyone, welcome to my anonymity uh, tutorial video. So, first of all, uh, protecting your identity and hiding yourself or being untraceable is very important as a penetration test or overall as a normal person trying to, you know, be protected. So, these are the techniques I will show in the next clips. Uh, the first technique will be unonserf, which is used to protect our IP address and DNS server and make us like very anonymous in the sense that all our data, network data from our computer that gets sent or received will be encrypted. Uh, the second technique will be the MAC changer. So what we will do is actually change the MAC address of our system, our physical uh, system like the network interface adapter. Uh, so. If someone will try to do a wireless sniffing to, to see what kind of device we have, that they will find a random one that, you know, can't be tracked back to us. Uh, the third one will be the user agent. User agent is like the system and device, the browser information which gets sent out when you click a link or go in any link uh, from a browser, like, like to any website. We can change it to any different one so our system cannot be actually tracked and seen as the same you know uh, device so the fourth one will be the time zone the time zone information will be very important to protect because most people don't even protect them don't even think about changing it um, the thing is if someone will have your time zone information by default they can see they can know like your location as you uh, from which country you come from so this can be indicative in the sense that they will know from what country you are from without even having your IP address and at the end of the video I will make a conclusion at the end what other tools or systems you can use to protect yourself Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce you guys how we can secure our own computer network that gets sent out through the internet and how we can st stay anonymous and also hidden. So first of all we will go to this Firefox browser and we will uh, use a script called Kali Anonserve or also called Anonserve. So what this specific script does actually it will anonymize the entire system under the Tor network, which is also used to access the darknet, the web, to uh, node, like, like a server. Uh, but this Anosov script will also use the IP tables firewall to configure its protection. And you can also allow it to start or drop an I2P uh, server. So those are the options you can choose if you have installed it. But first of all, we will just install it um, we will copy this link from the github page we will open the terminal we will let's make it a little bit bigger the terminal write git clone paste the link and then it will uh, download the link file now can we clear the terminal window ls we can see Kali unknown serve we uh, copy this one cd inside ls and now we will we can do bash install sh or we can do install sh i'm just gonna do install sh to install the file so we can use it so it's installing right now so now we have it installed now let's clear the window let's write unknown serve so now we can see we have it installed on our system we can write where where it's located it's located at the usr bin bin uh, folder where we can execute it from any different location so we can write for example now unserve my ip and this is our ip address that we have right now that's my router ip address which is dynamic and by standard without protection so what we can also see here on the firefox browser is that our ip address is same here right on the ip info and we can see it's not uh, not a, a tor proxy or vpn or anything like that we can also see dns leak if we do standard tests we can see 
that have Cloudflare, Cloudflare by default as a DNS server. So as you guys can see, Cloudflare, this, this leaks my information. So what, what we can do is actually uh, right here, let's clear, unknown serve uh, start. Now uh, the resolve config file has changed to a different DNS uh, data and all the traffic from our computer that we do that gets sent out through the internet or in the internal network in the router gets redirected through Tor. So we can right now unknown serve my IP, see how it looks like right now. As you guys can see, we have a different information, different IP address. And now if we will refresh this page here, We will also have a different IP address and it will say it's a relay uh, false, hosting true, a VPN false, proxy false, but Tor true. And then we are from Luxembourg and this is our IP address. It's and This is the host name, Luxembourg Tor new relay. It's a, a relay server, or like a Tor server. And if we do a DNS leak test, let's uh, try it now. Refresh this one, try it now. Let's see what leaks from our DNS or what happens if this will uh, look at our DNS records. So it has found four servers, which looks very complicated and it cannot track us back to our location or to our place actually. Um, it looks pretty much protected. Um, I don't know what this is, Nessus GmbH. But anyways, if you guys think the server is not secure, you guys can also go right unknown serve change. So we can change to a different Tor server. And then we can write unknown serve my IP. Let's see our IP address. As you guys can see, we have changed to a different IP address. So this Amsterdam Tor exit. exit uh from amsterdam city and we can keep doing it always again and again and change it with the whole time we can also write unknowns of status to look at the status so it's running actively and it's anonymizing the overlay network for tcp and if we go for example on wireshark we can uh, see the connection of it is how it will look like okay, let's do like uh any as you guys can see here It will show um, the local host 127001 and then also the port is 9040 which is also used for Tor networking. Usually 9040, 9050 is used for it. But as you guys can see there is a lot of uh, connection going around. And this is all like has, has to do with a Tor network connection. So anyways, uh, this is one way of how we can protect our computer and anonymize it and uh, be hidden. So what we can also do to protect ourselves in the internal network is to change our MAC address on our network. So if we write IV config, we can see the adapter which has our MAC address here. We can change it to any different kind of MAC address that uh, you know you can't get tracked back somehow on the wireless network. Like for example, if you do error dump ng and you look at other networks or what kind of devices are inside, you can track a person by the MAC address. So what we can do is actually IV config. It is zero down and then MAC changer r et h zero and IV config it is zero up. So what we do basically is put it down the interface, the network interface uh, card, and then we uh, use back changer to change it to a different random one. And then we also use IV config to put it online again, the interface after we put it offline and change it. So now it shows we have a new Mac here. So if we write IV config, you guys can see we have a different one here. So what we can also do is actually, if you look at MacChanger help, um, let's 
clean it and make help. We can also set it to a specific MAC address that we want or to a permanent one that stays forever. So for example, what we can also do is write M here, right? Uh, and then we will paste this. We can change it to any different MAC address. This six year or like, you know, four. And let's try to see if we can change it specific to a different MAC address as positioned here. As you guys can see, we have changed it to a different MAC address. Okay, we can change it anyhow, how we want. And also important to know, uh, do this first of all before you guys will use unknown surf to fully secure your network. I mean, your, your computer network, which sends data out or receives data. It's important to do this before we actually anonymize ourselves with unknown surf. So in this next clip, what we can also do is actually change our user agent with this specific tool. So I'm going to test it without actually um, changing my default user agent. You guys will see it will leak information specific to my browser and system. So let's test the browser of us and let's see what kind of data we can see that this website test on us. So this first website will test our security based on our browser as of what data can get leaked from the system, time zone, based on a browser. Now, if we um, go here, let's see. Uh, as you guys can see here, it says Mozilla 5.0 Linux system. So it's a Linux system. Uh, and Firefox browser, which is also, it's a Firefox browser, so it, so our user agent is actually not hidden. We want to hide this actually. Um, so what we can do is actually, as you guys can see, it also shows, for example, here that our platform is Linux, right? It's a Linux system, Car Linux. So what we can do is actually go to the user agent switcher, manager, and add to Firefox. So this is a third party tool. So of course it may seem like not secure and so on, but I mean, as long as you guys don't do something pretty bad, I don't think it will be a big problem. So anyways, we got it here. Let me uh, spin to toolbar. So we got it here. So let's, for example, change it to like, let's say edge and then change to a, let's say Mac OS X system. Let's maybe use a, uh, this one here, apply container, apply on everything. So uh, our data is actually shown as here right now. This is our user agent, okay? So let's see if we actually try to go to the website newly again to test our browser as of what it will really like show from the data about our browser. Like what kind of data can be leaked when I change it to Mac? Will this show as Linux same or as a Mac OS X? Let's see. Okay, now let's go down and see. So as you guys can see, it's actually a Macintosh into a Mac OS X version, same as we have uh, put here, and we also changed the uh, Browser, I mean, it shows like Chrome, Safari, it looks very complicated. Um, we can change it actually here also. So if you change it and for example, just delete it like this, it will also show like this. Or we can make it to, for example, like, you know, lol. And it will also show like this if you will actually uh, uh, do the test again, the security test.
So what we can also do is protect or like anonymize our time zone because our time zone is the information uh, taken to, you know, we can get tracked in that way as where we come from. You don't need even need like an IP address or any other information that someone can track where your location is from, if your time zone uh, leaks data from you, right? So what we can do is actually change this time zone. So this is Asia Bangkok time zone, which is also by my, uh, by default my computer's time zone. So how we can change it is actually let's open a terminal. You can write time date CTL, right? So this is my time zone, and this is system clock which is synchronized. And the NTP server uh, service uh, or like a server uh, is used to t uh, take the time zone and actually you know pass it and use it. So if we write time date CTL help, we can see the options also to change it or to see what we can do. So time date CTL list time zones. Now we can see from the line so many different kind of time zones, right? I can change it anyhow I want. So let's say I want to, for example, change it to, um, let's say, America, Aruba, right? What I can do is time CTL, set time zone, and then paste America, Aruba, and hit enter. Now we have changed our time zone, so if someone will track our data through a link or something like that, they will only see that my location is from America, Aruba, not from Bangkok, Asia, from the time zone there so what we can do now is actually try to test it again and see if it has changed or not now let's retest the browser again and let's see if it worked or it hasn't worked to change the time zone which leaks our data before about what our location is which country this is what most people don't do and don't think about but it's very important if you want to be uh, anonymous. So, yeah. So, anyways, uh, let's wait a little bit. Okay. Now, if you scroll down, you can see my time zone shows as America, a Rupert, and time zone offset is 240. So, it doesn't show as my country location anymore. It shows as America, a Rupert. So, we have changed the time zone successfully.